the photovoltaics industry is one of the fastest growing industries at the moment. The capacity, at least, is dominated by the Chinese. How confident I am that we can still re-establish it? Certainly in Europe, we have to close the important gaps which are there. We have to be quick, we have to be bold. I'm in Berghausen in Germany, home to Vaca Chemicals, one of the world's leading manufacturers of polysilicon, the raw ingredient in solar panels. In this episode of Business Planet, I'll be finding out how Europe intends to shake off its dependence on Russian gas by ramping up renewables, specifically solar, and the challenges it faces. Solar power is seen as crucial to Europe's energy security, climate goals and jobs. Europe installed a record-breaking 41.4 gigawatts of photovoltaic power in 2022, according to industry group Solar Power Europe. But right now, China dominates the solar industry. Figures from the Paris-based International Energy Agency predict up to 95% of the solar industry could be concentrated in China by 2025. President of VACA Polysilicon, Tobias Brandes, told me about one of the industry's most urgent concerns. We are really what we call energy intense industry. You just should imagine that here and at our second site combined in uh, Saxonia, we use about 0.7, 0.8% of the German electricity demand, which is absolutely huge. For in future investment, it would be of utmost importance to have a competitive level of energy, but to also have a predictable level of energy. So VACA is one of the leaders in, or the leader in Europe when it comes to uh, polysilicon, yet the vast majority is produced elsewhere in China. Why is this the case? China really took action there. They took this as one of the industries which is going to be very strategic and they very strategically invested into this industry. Europe the same is actually true for the United States, just did not compete in speed, but also in respect of, uh, let's say, production conditions. To address this, the EU set up the Solar Alliance, bringing together businesses and stakeholders to increase production capacity, promote investments and diversify supply. Speaking at the launch, EU Commissioner Thierry Breton talked of a green paradox. Solar energy is essential for decarbonisation and energy independence. It Europe's heavily dependent on China. The single market facilitates European cooperation to increase manufacturing. Free movement allows companies across the value chain to work together, so boosting Europe's solar power industry. Here in Grenoble, the French startup Rossi's at the other end of the solar chain, recycling. The number of panels installed over recent decades will soon be mirrored by the number of solar panels reaching the end of their life a real challenge for the recycling industry. We can recycle up to 3,000 tonnes of solar panels, so that's about 100,000 panels which can be recycled each year. But tomorrow it won't be enough to recycle 3,000 tonnes. We will have to recycle tens of thousands of tonnes because in France the waste will continue to grow. Leading to an explosion in the number of solar panels across Europe that will soon need recycling. Rossi's developed a way of extracting the most valuable elements from a solar panel, silicon and silver, using pyrolysis to unglue the different pieces, a triage to separate the photovoltaic cells from the glass and a chemical wash to detach the silver. It's also scaling up, with a factory opening shortly. Along with the single market, Europe sees innovation like this as a means to become more globally competitive. Recycling is an area where Europe excels and leads. If we want to rebuild an efficient photovoltaic industry in Europe on a large scale, recycling these materials will make our industry more competitive. With the climate, energy security and jobs at stake, it's vital Europe's able to reignite its solar power industry.